I didn't see you there. My name's Leia Lockhart, and I'm Asajj's rock stars. I know. I haven't always lived like this. <laughs> I've made a lot of missteps. <laughs> but I've had a lot of success. Welcome to Rockstar Massage. Here on Rockstar Massage, we'll talk about stuff that no one will talk about. Plus, tips and tricks to make you a rock star in your massage therapy career. of worm today because it's a really important muscle that often gets ignored. I've had major success with my clients because I've addressed the, the quadrilateral of worm and I've dealt with the issue of their chronic lower back problem. And I've never shied away from getting in there. The origin of the quadrilateral of worm is the 12th rib, which is the last rib, which is also the floating rib. Then to the first, second, third, and fourth transverse process at the lower lumbar, inserting into the iliac crest. The quadratus lumborum is also known as the hip hiker. So if you have one hip higher than the other, meaning one leg is longer than the other, which means the feet are uneven, this could be the issue. So here's how you do it in real time. Hang the arm over the table. Find the erector spinae, roll over the erector spinae, and you land on the quadratus lumborum and sit. Also, how you will know that the quadratus lumborum is releasing because your elbow will fall off. If you're feeling like the quadratus lumborum is not releasing, this is what you can tell your client. Please send energy here and tell it to let go. Ah, it worked. Now I'm gonna show you two more positions that will blow your mind. So this advanced move, I'm putting my right hand underneath the hip bone and the other hand is going to be at the lower rib. And I'm literally using strength and stretching the quadratus lumborum. Oh, it feels good? Yes, let's do it again. If you get a little slick, pull the sheet over, stay in position. Okay, now we have a really awesome stretch here. She's laying sidelined all the way to the edge of the bed. I am standing here right at her buttocks so she doesn't feel like she's falling off. We have a pillow underneath her armpit that is causing her top of the torso to be arched. So we have a nice arch here, really opening the quadratus lumborum. And then her top leg is hanging off of the bed. We have the best extension you can get right here. It's amazing, love it. And then on top of that, the opposing arm is going to be grabbing the top of her ribs. And again, the top of the iliac crest and then you push in opposite directions. Again, let's take some strength. You can do it. Yes. Now, since I'm going to be moving a little bit, I put her leg back on the table. Cup your hand in the middle of the quadratus lumborum, right in that space in her waist. Grab tight to her pelvis and pull. Pull again. Total of three. And just for tutorial purposes, we're gonna show you her naked body. Okay, for the last and most epic therapy for the quadrilateral lumborum, you're gonna need 
The Toilet Plunger! What? <laughs> I swear, but it's, um, clean. Whatever. Okay, slowly press the tool into the crease between her lower, lower rib and the top of the pelvis. Now she's gonna do three posterior rotations of the hips. Address it and I've killed it! Ow. <laughs> For the last and the most deep and the most epic what thing? For the thing. How do I say thing? To my cheerleading moves? Blow your mind. Bad girl. <laughs> I've had major success with all my clients because I've addressed this issue. <laughs> and then they would go on and like, oh, Rock my star. Rock juke brought stuff. Our rock big thing. So if you could do that. Hey, we're shooting. Do you don't you guys understand shooting? Yeah, come on. You guys are in Hollywood now. Okay, stop making out. They're all LA babies. All right. <laughs>